Hello, my Samaris, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today, we're celebrating lemons. Today is lemon day. Today is... Official lemon day, because I said so. I <gasps> International Lemon Day. I think they're wrong. Today is official lemon day, and therefore we're celebrating one of my favorite fruits ever. For as much as I love lemon, I don't eat it as much, which is a shame and must be changed. Therefore today, for 24 hours, I'm gonna eat nothing but lemony recipes. That'll be a challenge, but a challenge that I'm excited for. I look forward to. Could cry out of happiness because of what? I don't wanna give too much away, but we're about to make dinner, so I've already had breakfast and lunch. Let me just say, I had a really, really good food day today. So let's just hope we'll end it that way as well. Another 24 hours challenge and another reason for me to put lemon on anything. And now we're just ready to party. If you don't love lemons, how are you alive? <laughs> But also all of these recipes can technically be done without the lemons and still be good, I'm sure. That being said, it's time for breakfast, so let's see what Pass Vincent will whip up. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day to save lives. To start our lemon journey. And so today we also want to start off healthy because lemons are healthy. Can lemons be unhealthy if you eat too much of them? But I guess I'll find out at the end of the video. <laughs> the next day, dead. <laughs> Today, we're gonna have blueberry lemon breakfast quin quinoa. Quino I don't know how to pronounce it in English. Looks lemony. What else do you need? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what you need for this recipe. <laughs> One cup of ki ki quinoa. Two cups of non-fat milk. I use oat milk because I'm better than everyone. Pinch of salt. Three tablespoons of maple syrup. Well, the recipe says to use half a lemon zested, but obviously we're gonna use an entire lemon zested and also some lemon juice because we're making lemon recipes. One cup of blueberries. I don't know how much that is. We're just gonna put in however much we wanna put in because we're crazy. And two teaspoons of flax seeds. We need a water milk. When it's warm, we're gonna stir in the quinoa. <laughs> and the pinch of salt. And now on medium to low heat, we're gonna let this simmer until all the liquid has been absorbed, which will take about 20 minutes. You know what, guys, I'm gonna be crazy. I'm gonna add a bit of lemon juice already, because why not? Hopefully I won't have to find out why not. Okay, I think we are good now. It looks nice. It tastes all right. So let's take it off the heat. And now it's time to stir in the rest of the ingredients. The maple syrup, the lemon zest, and obviously more lemon juice. Stir, stir, stir. Now let's fold in the blueberries as well. Very gently. Just top it up with some of the flax seeds and garnish it with some lemons. Mmm, yummy, yeah, yummy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Buen provecho and good morning. Mm -hmm. That is really nice. More lemon. Now we have lemons. Mmm. This is very good, very nice. I'm gonna devour this. And I might even do this again. It takes quite a while, obviously, for the quinoa to cook. You can also prepare that the day before, I reckon. Mmm! See you for lunch, guys. Hi, guys, who's hungry? I'm wearing something else because it's lunchtime now. I just had a snack, so I'm not hungry at all right now. But I know that I will be once I'm done with this recipe. <laughs> and I also thought for lunch, I want to let my Italian side out. Well, partly at least, because I can hardly imagine that this recipe is very Italian. Like in essence, but not in the way you make it. We're going to be making one pot creamy lemon and spinach ravioli. And technically, this recipe is really easy and is relatively quick as well. But we wouldn't be on my channel if we bought the ravioli, would we? That, I say, after having... <laughs> 
debated for hours yesterday whether or not I should make them myself because yes, I've done it once or twice in my life, but I was like, do I really want to put the effort into it? And the answer is yes. You really don't need a lot for pasta dough, but here's what you need. Also, I'm following an Italian recipe, so you cannot come for me. <laughs> Mm. Three eggs, 200 grams of flour, and 100 grams of Hartweizengrieß, <laughs> and 100 grams of semolina. First step, take off rings and wash your hands. Second step, mix both the flour and the semolina together. Put it on whatever you can work on. A trough, a trough, a trough. And who would have thought, yes, it's time for the eggs. First with a fork, mix it together until you've got a smooth dough. So I've kneaded it for a couple of minutes. They wanted me to make a smooth dough, which I think it is now. We're gonna wrap this in cling foil now. Wrap it real tight and then leave it to rest at room temperature for at least 30 minutes. But guys, do not worry. In the meantime, we can do something as well. Namely the filling for our ravioli. So let's do that. Donato makes ricotta ravioli is what I'm following by Jamie Oliver. Oh, he's Jamie Oliver's Italian mentor. So yeah, whatever he does, we're gonna do as well. Here I've got 200 grams of ricotta, the zest of one lemon, and the juice of half a lemon, at least. I'm probably gonna put more because I want lemon. Then you're gonna need a little bit of parm, some mint, pepper, and salt. That's it. Okay, so my good man's, he just mixes everything with his fork, actually. We're gonna soften the ricotta, which is already very soft. It doesn't even look like a ricotta, to be honest, but we're in Germany and that's all you can get here, in the supermarket at least. Then we just add the stuff. Salt, pepper, the zest of one lemon, and the juice of at least half a lemon. Let's add a bit of parm. He said not too much, but I don't know how much that is. And lastly, we're also gonna add the mint. This week, we're gonna have very summery flavors again. Where's the lemon? I'm gonna pop this in the fridge in hopes that it'll thicken a little bit. Here's our dough. Mr. Gennaro puts a bit of rice flour on his surface. Oh, damn, we asked. Sticky. Gonna knead it again. I think it actually looks pretty good. Roll it out. Oh no. Why would you do that to me? That's so rude. I'm gonna cut it so that I've got two long rectangles. Unfortunately, I don't have a pasta cutter either, but I've got this. This is not cutting it. Okay, our ravioli will not have that kind of an edge. So far, they may not look perfect, but they look homemade. So I've got a bit of water here and just very carefully take a brush and put a bit of water on the top of the ravioli. Bit of the filling, put it towards the water line and also about two fingers apart. Time to seal this. We're gonna take one side, hold it. And when I close this, it's very important to make sure that there's no air inside. Filling comes out, nice. With your pasta cutter that you do not have, cut in between the ravioli. Ah, look at them, don't they look super cute? They look all right. Let's make the actual dish now. The actual dish is really easy. Then here's what you need. 250 grams of ravioli, or however much this is. 100 grams of frozen peas. 100 grams of baby spinach. It says chopped, but I won't do that. 200 milliliters of vegetable stock, hot. So I'm gonna heat this up in a little bit. Four tablespoons of cream cheese, one lemon, zested and also juiced. And 50 grams of Parmesan, finely grated. Okay, so essentially you just place everything in an oven dish and put it in the oven. <laughs> now we're gonna scatter over the peas, the spinach. That's so much spinach. And now we're gonna whisk together the cream cheese and our hot vegetable stock, which I don't know how this is gonna go. Also add the lemon zest and the lemon juice. And lastly, you're gonna add half of the Parmesan to this. 
and also season it very well. Maybe some garlic powder, obviously some pepper, and just some herbs, I guess. Clearly a bit of tahine as well. My storage was full. I poured it all over and I put some more season on it as well. The oven is already preheating at 200 degrees Celsius. And we're gonna cover our casserole with aluminum foil and then bake it for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, we can take off the aluminum foil and cover it with the rest of the Parmesan. And then we're gonna bake it for another five minutes. <laughs> if you guys could smell this, you would be in heaven. I think our ravioli have been in there for way too long. It's very runny and watery, but of course we've got a beautiful little garnish. I mean, it does look pretty nice. It's green and there's a lemon on top. I guess we're just gonna dive in. Mmm, this is really nice. It's definitely very lemony. If you're not into lemon, then probably just take a ravioli with a different filling. Mmm, mmm. Guys, I really, really like this. Guys, this is so good. Mmm. Mmm, yummy. How do you like the ravioli? I made them myself. <laughs> And here I am once again. Na, 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 na. Does anyone know the lyrics? Oh, that's Kelly Clarkson. Oh my god. I'm torn into pieces, can't deny it, can't pretend, just thought you were the one. Oh, amazing lyrics. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm back, ready to make dinner. We're gonna have a pretty light dinner. We've just stuffed our faces with ravioli. And what is lighter than a soup? For this reason, I found a nice spring vegetable and lemon broth. It looks very easy to make as well. I think the preparation part is longest part and I didn't even have to prepare a lot. This is everything you will need. The nice shades of green. Two sticks of celery, thinly sliced. Do you guys like celery? Like I always like the initial bites and then it just gets too much. But like I can eat it even though I look really disgusted right now. <laughs> Some olive oil, I don't know how much yet. A tablespoon of butter, two leeks. Well, I only have got one because I didn't read the recipe properly, but we'll be fine. Thinly sliced as well. One garlic clove crushed, 1300 milliliters of vegetable broth, and then a bit of an issue because I forgot to buy pasta. Technically you need 100 grams of like small pasta shapes. Well, I've got this now. I think I'm gonna like maybe try and crush it a little so that they're a bit smaller, but it's fine. Then you need a small bunch of basil, chopped. Why does basil smell so good? I always forget it until I smell it again. Obviously, the star of the show. The zest of one lemon and the juice of one lemon. And lastly, about four tablespoons of parmesan. And then you also need one small head of baby leaf greens. I, I, I have no idea what that is and Google couldn't tell me either. It actually just said flixalat, which does not make sense to me. I still bought it. We have to soften the celery in one tablespoon of oil and the butter for five minutes in a large pan. Look guys what I found. I've got a hundred grams of very German pasta. Anyway, that being said, let's also add the leek now and let that soften for another five minutes. Now after five minutes, add the garlic. Garlic, the girl, garlic girl. And now we pour in a broth. And we're gonna have to bring this to a boil. Ah, uh, it's finally boiling. Throw in a pasta. And let it cook for about four minutes. Guys, don't tell anyone, but I'm gonna add a bit of tahini. Something in me forced me to do it. For another four minutes, we're gonna add our baby leaf greens or whatever it is that I've got here. Now it looks like some sort of soup I would make in the garden when I was younger, pretending that I was cooking. Last steps already, guys. We're gonna add the basil. And now that we've stirred that in, it's time for a baby. Lemon zest. All of it. Nothing's wasted. And also our lemon juice. Guys, that's it already. I mean, not gonna lie, it looks like in the picture. A bit more so. Yeah, I'll pass on this one. And then we can also sprinkle some parmesan on top. Fertig. I mean, you've seen it. It looks great. It smells great. But it's so hot. 
Ich wurde so entworfen, dass deine Privatsphäre geschützt wird. Ich höre daher nur zu, wenn dein Gerät das Aktivierungswort erkennt oder wenn die Aktionstaste gedrückt wird. Bei Echo-Geräten zeigt entweder ein Blanzlicht, dass deine Anfrage verarbeitet wird oder ein Signalton wird abgespielt. Mir darüber fährst du auch Kassenpunkt.de ist der Scheißerdatenschutz. Okay. Mmh. <lacht> What? Do I have to put lemon into everything now? This is delicious. Das schmeckt ja nur nach Zitrone. I could literally bathe in this right now. Yeah, I'll pass on this one. <gasps> well, good thing I've got this entire pan full of my new favorite soup. Today was such a good and successful day. Who would have thought? I would have. Because lemons. I'll put a lemon on everything now. Let me know if you're intrigued enough to make any of the recipes. I think you should make all of them. I'm so hot now, I'm sweating. That's all I can say now. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Y entonces, nos vemos la próxima vez. Bye!